Welcome to another episode of Cooking on the Fry. Today, I may be making the very first turkey back cooking video ever. I looked for them, I didn't find any. So this just might be history in the making right now. I am going to cook turkey backs. These sent me back an entire dollar. Some of my recent fish videos got a little expensive. I think I put about nine bucks into one of them and I need to bring my average cost per video down. So this is the dollar video. Let's see what I can do with two turkey backs. The first thing I did was set my oven to 350 to preheat. I plan to roast these turkey necks. The next thing I'm going to do is bring their temperature up in the microwave. I'm gonna put these in the microwave at 20% uh, for four minutes and my my main motivation here is that i intend to coat them in melted butter and i don't want the butter to unmelt as soon as it hits these turkey backs that i just took out of the fridge and the good news is that by the time these are warmed up my oven will be preheated so we're multitasking here okay truth be told it took seven minutes at 20 percent to take the chill off of these turkey backs but that's a good thing now i'm going to Melt some butter. Okay, my, uh, my butter took about five minutes at 20% of the microwave. I think there is some wisdom to getting one of those little tiny saucepans. Uh, I wish I had a way to melt it on the stove. I really don't think the microwave is the best way to do it, but there it is. It's as melted as I need it. And I've got some steak and chop seasoning, which is basically salt, pepper, lemon, garlic. Should go fine on turkey, and some paprika because I personally really like paprika on poultry. So I'm going to be using my iron skillet to prep these turkey backs. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint some of my melted butter. Yeah, that's looking great. Paint it on the iron skillet. Make sure to splash it all over the place and get some on your camera lens. Awesome. Fine. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and the and the turkey back is in the skillet, amazingly, transferred itself there. Uh, not really, I put it there. I'm going to dump my melted butter. Yeah, there you go. A little more than I planned, but that's okay, because I'm going to just take my dollar store brush a here and just paint it. all over this turkey back. This not only may be the very first turkey back cooking video ever, it may be, well it's definitely my first attempt at roasting turkey. I have never ever in my life cooked turkey before. And I've got way too much butter in this pan so I'm gonna get a paper towel, soak some, some of this stuff up. Oh, and my batteries are running dead, yay. Okay, good timing. Okay, I'm back with uh, fresh batteries in this camera, and I am, before it solidifies again, getting that spilled butter out of this skillet. Now, I've watched enough of these uh, cooking shows, you know, like Gordon Ramsay says, Things go bad, you keep fighting, you bounce back. So that's what I'm doing. Move these backs back to the center. And uh, now we will try to get a little more of this butter soaked up. Okay, I've soaked up a little more butter. The good news is if uh, this pan wasn't seasoned before, it's going to be way more seasoned when this is done. Now on goes the seasoning, the lemon, garlic, salt, pepper, all-in-one stuff, which I'm really trying to use up. There we go. And now the paprika, which can't hurt. There we go. Oh yeah, and I'll uh, kind of rub it and 
had it in there. Okay. Okay, uh, turkey backs are in the oven. And uh, we'll check them out in a half an hour. I'm shooting for a temperature of 165. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Let's pull these turkey backs out and see what their temperature is. Okay, let's see if we've reached our target temperature of 165. And that is just racing up there. I kind of hit a bone. This is kind of weird. Um, that's kind of moving on up to one. Yeah, you know, it's at 155. I'm going to get into the whatever meat is here. Um, I'm going to leave these in for another 10 minutes. Okay, it's been another 10 minutes. These actually smell kind of good. Uh, let's take their temperature. And let's see if we can see here. Um, yeah, we are going past 165. Oh, nice piece of meat there. Oh, ooh, way past 165. I think these backs are... They're done. Now, I don't know how I'm going to get them out of there. I'll think of something. Everything is very hot, including the pan. I obviously can't really grab it, and I don't have anywhere to put it at the moment, but I'll figure something out. Okay, well, hey, these work really good. So let's get these backs out on a plate and let them cool off and rest. As for this, I am going to turn off the oven and let everything cool until tomorrow morning. Okay, these turkey backs have rested for a good five minutes. Let's cut into them and see what we got. Wow, that looks like turkey. It doesn't look so awful. Let's uh, take a taste and see what it tastes like. Well, it tastes like turkey with some grizzly stuff. It tastes really good. I'm going to cut the meat off of these two turkey backs and just see how much there really is. Well, there you go. What looks like meat that I carved off of two chicken backs. Uh, you buy, or excuse me, turkey backs. Uh, I bought two turkey backs and I got a turkey snack. I don't think I'll do this again. And... I don't even know if I would recommend anybody else do this. I don't know that it's any dumber than paying good money for a bunch of chicken wings, though, that are mostly all skin and bones. So I don't feel like I wasted money. I got some good protein for my dollar. Um, until next time, anything I can do, you can do better. But I don't know if you'll even want to try this. Bye. Oh, and one more thing. The uh, seasoning strategy totally worked. The uh, garlic, salt pepper, lemon mix, and uh, the paprika. And the meat is pretty moist. So at least I know I have a good seasoning strategy when it comes down to cooking some real turkey someday. Okay, now I'm going to go eat.